What's up, everyone? This is Dylan from The Good Depression. Today, we're going to talk about some lyrics for our new single, Sex Act. So when we wrote Sex Act, it was following the pandemic and a really rough time. Um, things were changing in all of our lives, and we just felt like we were powerless to so much, uh, almost like tools uh, used and just thrown away. Um, and it was a big change and we had a, a lot of momentum and just had to stop. So this song was kind of a cultivation of tons of emotions and uh, just a bit of anger towards kind of how what was happening at the time. All right, let's get it started here. A little video production by Justin Hebb, recorded by Davis Waxwell. We are the tools used for their hosts, breeding like cattle, ready our dose. That was the big line that I really meant something to me because at the time when we wrote this I felt like we were you being used and for who knows what purpose and I it was we were so confused by what was going on we felt like just animals trapped and I kept talking about this thank the host because uh, I felt like we were almost having to say thank you to somebody for giving us what we uh, what we needed or wanted Yeah, tidal waves consuming us, just feeling like basically like we were powerless uh, to what was happening, not being able to go anywhere, uh, stuck in our homes. Little banana shot. <laughs> Once again, another uh, trope for just feeling completely powerless uh, in that time. Just feeling like at any moment you could be um, taken away or just drowned in self uh, pity or disappointment. Brian's part. Yeah, he talks about staring into the abyss uh, and stares back at daggers. Um, really just basically sitting at your home, staring into the void and having nothing but just awful thoughts kind of reaching back towards you. Obviously, this song is called Sex Act and love is a big part of this uh of the song, talking about how it's gone, how we can't find it, basically trying to find an answer for a cancer that is uh, is kind of always there. Sorry, I'm just kind of like trying, I, you could always cut shit too, right? Reaching the end of the song, we kind of start building up into uh, what I called the, uh, uh, the Foo Fighters kind of part. Um, I was, when I wrote this part, I kind of was imagining um, all my life. There's a, a section where the vocal pattern kind of was gave me um, some ideas. So uh, this part was, what's it like living with all the answers to all the questions that make us suffer? Our beating hearts filled with so much cancer when we just want a little fucking romance. So feeling a lot of emotions and just looking for a lot of answers to some questions that um, seemed like nobody had any uh, any idea to. So the very end of the song, we end with uh, the last bit of uh, lyrics that I wrote, and it's kind of repeated, but um, I've really enjoyed writing this part. I did like the kind of uh, rhyme scheme that I went with. So Love is found, but not here, okay. Love is found in sincere ways. Love is found, but not here, okay. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? We just wanted to find that place again, get back to playing live music, uh, writing and traveling, um, bring back that love and passion to uh, things that we uh, kind of all brought us together. 
That's basically the gist of Sex Act. This song means a lot to us. Uh, it's kind of the new direction that I think you'll, uh, for sound, that you'll hear from us. So I named the song uh, Sex Act because I feel like this, <laughs> the act of sex is one of the most vulnerable uh, moments that anybody can be in. And you kind of show your true colors during that moment and uh, kind of uh, what happened in real life too we were all very vulnerable and everybody had to kind of figure out their own way um and uh was very naked in the time so felt like sex act kind of uh interpreted in a way um and uh sex sells so <laughs> the end <laughs> we do have some more stuff in the works we recorded this song with davis maxwell from uh, schoolhouse and we may or may not have some more uh, material coming up for you what's your favorite kind of car <laughs> the one you know what i mean yeah i think uh I've had so many different styles of writing and have been told simplicity is key and then also that it's too simple. So I'd like to, I think rhyme, the, my rhyme scheme has always been a big thing. I feel like to make a song catchy or popular, rhyming is a huge deal, but it's like you in done, it's not, it doesn't have to be every line. So I, I more focus on kind of like writing a story in a way. So it's like, yeah, I guess it's left for interpretation. Hey guys, thanks for listening and tuning in. We appreciate uh, you checking out our channel. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, there'll be more content in the future, more lyric videos, maybe some guitar playthroughs. Uh, please comment below. Let us know what you want to hear from us and uh, if there's anything else that we can do. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha.